So we are in a bear market and uh, more and more countries in the world will very likely uh, declare over the course of the next few weeks or months to be in an economic recession. What I want uh, to talk about today is the implications of this for two categories, uh, investors and founders of uh, startup projects. There are, of course, many other angles uh, that are also important uh, for governments, for uh, traders of uh, public stocks or uh, cryptocurrencies. But uh, I want to focus on the two groups uh, that I mentioned just now. Uh, when we think about investors, uh, we think about them as a homogeneous group. But in reality, uh, there are many different types uh, of investors. Uh, angel investors who put in their own money uh, in the projects. Um, managers of uh, venture capital firms uh, who invest the money provided to them by their limited partners, uh, family offices uh, that uh, uh, handle uh, the uh, wealth of a single family or multi-family offices that do the same for multiple families on a professional basis. Institutional investors uh, such as pension funds, for example. And of course, uh, each of these have uh, si slightly different uh, incentives, um, perspectives, time frames, expectations of uh, returns on their capital. To make it simple, traditional equity investments in startups uh, need about six to eight years uh, to earn a return. And that period of time is actually sufficient uh, to bridge uh, recessions that may last a year or two. So it is somewhat surprising when immediately uh, at the first signals of a bear market, in, or the first signals of a recession, you immediately read that the um, investors are investing less money or at worse terms than before. Uh, some uh, of these reasons is um, financial. Uh, for example, there is a certain a ripple effect uh, in the investment community where a VC firm may not have uh, capital at hand, but there are so-called capital calls uh, where uh, the funds are collected from the limited partners, funds that have already been committed. Now, is it common that uh, uh, an LP will renege on the commitment? Of course not. Does a VC firm want to sue an LP because they are late uh, or they want to get out uh, of uh, a commitment? Also very unlikely. So another set of uh, reasons why investors will uh, immediately react uh, to a bear market uh, or in a recession is of course psychological. Uh, during the bull market, during uh, boom times, uh, there is a rush to take a position in an exciting project or a project that people believe is exciting uh, and investors trample each other uh, when uh, things are uh, slowing down, everything is more calm, uh, then they can take their sweet time to decide. Now. Uh, it is, of course, uh, important for uh, investors to be balanced uh, in uh, their decision-making. They should be rational. 
Uh, and uh, the best ones, of course, uh, are. They recognize that uh, there is a decisive advantage in investing actually in bear markets. The fact that valuations are not uh, frantically whipped up uh, by the uh, excessive degree of enthusiasm of uh, investors outbidding each other uh, is uh, a great advantage to an investor that calmly evaluates and then decides on the best opportunities, not disregarding, but trying to be independent of macroeconomic concerns that may not be relevant anymore two years later. Once again, in a cycle that lasts six, uh, eight years, or sometimes even more. From the point of view of startup founders, uh, bear markets are very hard. Depending on the stage uh, of the project, uh, it can be um, harder to start uh, or it can be hard to literally survive. Especially um, if a project uh, is counting on its ability to close a new round of funding um, at a given valuation for a given amount of money and it is increasing headcount, uh, shortening its runway, increasing the burn rate, and then the bear market hits, uh, it can be very, very tricky. Uh, it must immediately react by freezing hiring or laying people off, um, reducing marketing activities, uh, especially those that are not directly measurable uh, in uh, an increasing uh, revenue stream. For example, marketing activities that are directed towards branding uh, uh, rather than onboarding new customers. The best uh, teams, of course, are going to survive and uh, the best talent, even if uh, laid off uh, from a project, will find a new one to uh, help probably very fast. The uncertainty uh, of the many variables that need to be under control, uh, of course, is um, frustrating, um, if not even panic-inducing. The opportunity to actually start a project in a bear market uh, is, is great. Uh, there will be less pressure in doing crazy things just because someone else is doing uh, crazy things. There will be less competition for talent that will be available um, more uh, reasonably uh, to these uh, startups and uh, will be less prone to jump ship, uh, increasing churn, increasing the uh, rate of uh, change uh, in, the, in the teams. Uh, everyone tends to stay put more. The crypto market itself uh, is a variant of these behaviors in more compressed timelines. For many, the expectation was that uh, whether Bitcoin, Ethereum or um, cryptocurrencies uh, different from these two main ones uh, would be uh, counter cyclical to uh, the uh, public stock market, for example, or at least uh, less directly correlated, less directly uh, going through the same uh, movements uh, as uh, the public stocks. So those people were surprised 
that uh, the uh, decline in uh, technology stocks on NASDAQ or on other stock exchanges and the decline in uh, cryptocurrency prices would um, be going somewhat in, in lockstep. In, there are a lot of great news around uh, blockchain and, and cryptocurrencies. More and more countries, more and more use cases, more and more users, uh, more and more uh, interesting applications. If certain specific uh, areas, for example, NFTs, have been um, super hot and now are um, seen as, as less frantic, it can be also a positive because there are projects that just want to build and want to deliver solutions uh, rather than being distracted by the frothy valuations uh, that currently uh, have proven not to be justified. The cycles of uh, crypto are short. Uh, there is expectation that by the end of the year or beginning of uh, next year, they could um, reverse uh, with Bitcoin potentially achieving a new all-time high. There is a particular mechanism built into the uh, Bitcoin algorithm called halving. This is the reward that uh, the operators of the network securing uh, the Bitcoin transactions receive. Their biggest uh, expense is uh, uh, after uh, the capital investment for the computing infrastructure is the energy cost that they have to cover. And uh, if uh, the number of Bitcoins that they receive is reduced, well, their energy cost is not going to reduce. So in order to find a balance uh, in the equation, the unit price of Bitcoin must increase. This is dictated by the market. So uh, if the market doesn't want miners to go bankrupt, it will have to pay the price that miners request. The halving uh, is uh, further out, but around that time, historically speaking, Bitcoin would gain uh, a lot. So I am not a trader. I cannot predict uh, what is the uh, short term uh, variation of stocks or cryptocurrencies. There are people who believe they can. Technical analysis uh, helps them draw certain lines and uh, they believe that these lines uh, indicate trends that uh, will support their uh, trading uh, assumptions. Good luck to them. But what I believe is that uh, the ingenuity of uh, talented teams and the uh, desire of investors of earning a return by backing teams that come up with innovative solutions over large numbers and sufficient amount of time will reverse the current bear market, the current recessions, and we will come out in a few months in the case of the crypto market, or in a few years, uh, in the case of the public markets uh, and uh, uh, global macroeconomic conditions, hopefully stronger, uh, with increased productivity and innovative uh, solutions uh, all around. And uh, at that point, I may record uh, another episode of the context 
cautioning around about uh, excessive degrees of enthusiasm, uh, making sure uh, that uh, both uh, extremes of these uh, cycles are evaluated and uh, understood for what they are, in part objective, but in a large part also the consequence of our subjective psychological attitudes.